the nearest neighbor algorithm. The nearest neighbor algorithm can help us find a Hamiltonian circuit on a graph, and it's a method that might help us find the lowest weight of that circuit. Now, it doesn't always work out to be the lowest weight, but let's go learn what the nearest neighbor algorithm is. Our steps as follow. We select a starting point. So in this case, let's select A. So we're going to start here. So we're starting at A. Then it tells us to move to the nearest unvisited vertex, the edge with the smallest weight. All right, so the nearest, the edge with the smallest weight. So if you look at all here, all the edges that come from A, we have A to B has a weight of four, A to D weight of one, A to C weight of two. So in this case, I would go from A to D. So I'm going from A to D, and I can write it out here, A to D, and we can even note here that was a weight of one between A and D. Then step three tells us to repeat this until a circuit is complete. All right, so our circuit's complete. All right, so now we are at D. We have to go to the nearest neighbor, hence in the name. D goes to, well, C or B. B has a weight of nine, C has a weight of eight, so I must go to C here as my next option here. So we go to C, and that has a weight of eight. Okay, now from C, we're repeating this process. I have to go to the nearest unvisited vertex. I cannot go back to A because I haven't hit every single vertex out there. Although it's the nearest one, I would then create a circuit and we wouldn't have every single vertex here. So I cannot go to A in this graph here. I have to go to B. So we go to B right here. And that was a weight of 13. And then from B, the only unvisited vertex will be really back in the beginning because every single vertex we have visited. So now we can complete the circuit. I have to go back to A right there. And we have A here, and that's a plus A4. And so our total weight. here as one plus eight plus 13 plus four, which is a 26. So we applied the nearest neighbor algorithm here to this graph to find a Hamiltonian circuit, which we did, right? We had every single vertex only once, we came back to the beginning and we got a weight of 26. Now, was this the fastest or the least weight circuit, Hamiltonian circuit that exists on this graph? The answer is no. The nearest neighbor algorithm doesn't always work. It's just an algorithm that might, might help us find a way, gives us rules to follow, but it doesn't always give us the lowest total weight. Well, I hope you learned something here about the nearest neighbor algorithm. And as always, thanks for watching.